absolutely fantastic to have someone that is as inspired as I am to check out the pH and the TDS of my very sandy rainwater. Ellen Chris, here's your ninja clip because I was going to do this anyway, but I wasn't going to film it, but let's try this. So here we have one bucket. They, they all look the same and you can see that I've already been watering other orchids with this bucket. Yeah, you can see the levels there. <laughs> so let's check the pH before I mix everything up. Is anything gonna happen? Look at that. That's fine. The 7.4? That's not a problem at all. I've been watering my mounts with this bucket today, so I'm okay with that. We can still go up to eight if you want to. Yeah, the more I move it around, the higher it's going because of the sediment. That's very interesting. What do you think, huh? All right, that's fine. I'm not gonna dither with this too much. I'm also very interested to see <laughs> how much TDS is in here. Look at this. If I just stir it up a little bit, why not? <laughs> oh, look at this. It's like lentil soup. All right, I think we've stirred it up enough. Let's check the TDS. <laughs> Ellen, Chris, I like your way of thinking. <laughs> it's not so bad. You see, my, my RO water is 11 when it comes out of the deposit. Now, of course, I didn't test the TDS of the rain as it came down, clearly. This bucket literally filled full just with the sand rain. That's how much there was of it. But 75, that's not too bad. I would have expected much, much higher. What do you think? Did you think it was going to be off the charts? Anyway, I hope that satisfied your curiosity, Ellen Chris. It certainly satisfied mine. Thank you so much for your question.